Okay, so we're going to be considering um, the area now of ball position um, and what is the correct ball position um, for each club used in the bag. Now, ball position is really important because what ball position does, number one, it helps to create the correct angle of attack to come down onto the ball so that the ball will fly up in the air. The second thing correct ball position will do, will be able to present the club head or the club face to the ball squarely. So ball position is, is vital. If we don't get it right, it will affect our strike and it will also affect our direction. So what is the correct ball position? Well, there are many schools of thought on this, but this is um, one school of thought which I have found has helped a lot of my pupils um, o over the years. And it's a three ball position. And basically what we're looking at are three different ball positions for the golf clubs that we use in the bag. So for instance, when you address the ball, you want to have your feet shoulder width apart. I know um, some people say that uh, when you use a wood, your stance should widen. When you use a wedge, your stance should narrow. But what I would say, for a normal full shot, if you were just to keep your stance shoulder width apart, that gives you um, a strong enough base to hold your balance, regardless of what club you use. Secondly, not everybody's flexibility and movability um, is the same. So by having um, one constant width of stance, that being shoulder width, you're able to move much more easily away from the ball and through to your target. So just stick with the one width stance, that being shoulder width, no, no matter what club you use. Now we've considered that, we look at the ball position. So what we're wanting is this. For your six iron, going all the way down to your sand wedge, so that is your six, seven, eight, nine, pitching wedge, sand wedge, maybe log wedge and gap wedge as well. That ball will want to be in the middle of your stance. So I have um, a wedge here. As you can see, the ball position in relation to my stance and this helpful um, ball alignment stick, you can see that the ball now is in the middle of my stance. This position will bring the club head into the ball at its squarest point for your six iron all the way down to your sand wedge. But then we need another ball position for your long irons and your hybrid woods. So all that you need to do is put the ball one ball to the left. So we have one ball in the middle, that's for your six iron down to your sand wedge. Then your five, four and three iron and your hybrids, the ball goes one ball left of middle. So I've got a long iron here. So now the ball has moved one ball left of middle. That is put the ball position now just left of centre and that is the, the best ball position for your long irons, 5, 4 and 3 and your hybrids. So when I'm setting up you can see that the ball is just left of centre. Again this will hit the ball straighter because that's where the club will be presented at its squarest point providing the grip is correct of course as well and that will give you the correct angle of attack to get the ball up in the air. Then thirdly, we're looking at your woods. So obviously that would be your driver, three wood, five wood. We're looking um, for the ball then to be two balls left of middle. That way the ball is far enough forwards for you to hit the driver um, on the upswing. So the driver can hit the ball on the upswing. And also um, the ball position is correct for the three and the five. That you will just nicely just take the ball um, off the fairway. So we're looking at the ball position being probably an inch off your left heel. So when using a six iron to a sand wedge, the ball goes in the middle. When using your long irons and your um, hybrids, 
the ball goes one ball left of middle. When using your woods, the ball goes two balls left of middle. This is the best way in which to get a good um, ball position for the different clubs used to get the best strike, to get the best direction. Try it and then let us know how you get on. Thank you.